and the referees and uh, their team or the referee and his team also get yeah. medals it's a big, big moment for them in their careers as well and a really good performance now is the right moment we didn't talk about it. the referees but looking up Perry Breutigam ambassador for Leipzig on the way with the cup Going to put that squarely in the centre of the pedestal where it belongs. The trophy, which was first lifted up back in. Uh, 1965 in its current form by, uh, if I am not wrong, Aki Schmidt of Dortmund. They won 2 0 against Alemannia Aachen. It's 52 centimeters tall. Weighs nearly six kilograms. Well. But as I say, you wouldn't know because you haven't had the chance to lift it in your career, Stem. I came a few times close, quarter-finals, but we couldn't do it. I don't know why. We won the Champions League, we won the World Club Cup, but we couldn't win the German Cup. It's so difficult to go all the way. Only six games, but very difficult. Well refereed today and uh, around the world, and not just in Germany, we need more referees. We need more respect for the referees, we need more people to uh, just hold back in the criticism of referees. It is the hardest job in football and they need to be encouraged. Yeah, and today I think it's time to say thank you very much. No big mistake, we don't have to talk about decisions. No. Great job. Went very smoothly. Because Daniel Zibat, yeah, here he is. I'm not a philosopher and I can't see into the future, but if things continue as they are, what will happen is we've got VAR now. We could, in 50 years' time, end up with a virtual referee rather than a, having a referee in his lives on the pitch. And I think that would be a terrible thing. But anyway, the, uh, the runners up. going up on the pedestal, led by their captain, who, when he went off, things weren't so bad. Yeah. It was um, just after he went off that things started to get a little rocky. Yeah, I'm sure there was a conversation in between Glasner and Roder because he played so well 10, 15 minutes before he was substituted. So, and it was a positive move in a way to go forward. In the end, it didn't work, but for me, not a mistake, because uh, if you start to be tired, then you have to change a plan. So the Frankfurt players with their runners up medals. Some of them keep them on, some of them take them off. Yeah. Germany's chairman is there, Frank Walter Steinmeier. Respect. Peter Fremo, I know him really well when I was the Germany's under 17 coach, is there to give uh, to everyone the medals. The losing side gets a walk past the cup. Close, so very close. along the line, his last duty, Oliver Glasner, who's done yeah. such a good job. But uh, things being what they are, Eintracht have decided to go in a different direction. Yeah, and lots of respect from the supporters, he deserved it. He I'm was... sure he's not happy overall, because his contract was another year to stay for Eintracht Frankfurt. But now it's time now 
waste of time. The Frankfurt fans, of course, don't like it, nor do they have to. But it's Leipzig who are the winners today. The stadium turns red for RB Leipzig. Once famously dropped this uh, trophy by Schalke's big boss at the time. I'm sure you remember, Stefan. Yes, of course. Although, to be fair, he paid for it to be re replaced. No longer with us now, sadly. Yeah, and respect to RB Leipzig. And getting ready for that moment. For some of them, it might be the last game that they play for Leipzig, but what a way to go out. Something to remember. Willy Orban, the captain, waiting to take his place. Yeah, and what a leader for Leipzig, Willy Orban. I think it will be a special moment for him as a captain. Marco Rosa. The man with the Leipzig DNA. It's where his family live. Yeah. It's where he's from. They, like Bayern, and uh, some fans won't appreciate me saying this, have their own special bond together. Yeah. It makes them who they are. They know they're not popular among certain sections of the uh, of fandom, but they stick together. Yeah, but don't forget, I've been there many times, Leipzig. It's a beautiful city now for my East Germany. And it's great to have a club in the Bundesliga. And it's playing in the Champions League now for five years in a row. Time for the captain to get his hands on that cup and lift it above his head and cue the celebrations, both in Leipzig and in Berlin. I'm ready, he says, I'm ready. It's going to be handed over. There is the cup, and the winners of the 80th DFB Pokal are Leipzig. Make way, here come Leipzig. A second time for them, a marvellous achievement in a row. So it's even more difficult to win it the year after. So what a cup run from Leipzig. And well, a very good performance from Frankfurt. But overall, maybe a deserved win because in the end, they scored two goals. They had the tougher run to the final. They put out Hoffenheim, they put out Dortmund. Yeah. Uh, they put out another side, but Hoffenheim. Uh, Dortmund and one other, I can't remember. The emotion has got to me, my brain has Freiburg. gone to Freiburg. Freiburg. It was yes. Freiburg in the semi-finals, of course it was. No problem. That's what the assistant uh, co-commentator is there for. No, no. <laughs> no, because it was a long journey, but a really positive journey again. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.